We are going to add a circuit that is controlled by your Arduino Uno board. Make sure that the program from the last Blink exercise is loaded and running on your Arduino Uno. Here's the code to get you up to speed. Pause the video here if you need to recode and upload it. The main objective is to get an LED to blink, but not the one on the Arduino Uno board. You need to get the Sutherless breadboard. two male-to-male -male connecting wires. You can use a pair of scissors to carefully cut off the nylon cable tie used to secure the wires. Choose red and black as the colors for the connections. While I can't stop you if you don't want to, it is good practice to select bright colors for active, live, or positive connections, and darker or earth colors for ground or negative connections. From the bag of parts, get one red LED, and a bandolier of 1 kilo ohm resistors. It should have 1K printed on one of the paper tapes. If you prefer color code reading, it should be brown, black, black, brown, brown for 100 times 10 raised to the first power or 1,000 at 1% 1 tolerance. Let's get the basics of electronics out of the way first. A power supply will have a positive and negative voltage source. Electric loads consume the power provided by the power supply. Positive terminals have a higher voltage value compared to the negative terminal. When you have this setup, charges flow from the higher voltage to the lower voltage through the load. This is called electric current. This is also why it is called a circuit, which shares a root word with circle. The reality is that electrons, which are negatively charged, flow from the negative terminal going up to the positive terminal. With very few exceptions, we choose the positive current flow in electronics and call it conventional current flow because it makes more sense. Power just means how much work per unit time something will do. Higher power means hotter, faster, more torque, and so on. The Sutherless breadboard has two pairs of power rails and a middle part addressed with letters and numbers. The highlighted pin is A3. This is connected with B3, C3, D3, and E3. When you cross over to the next column, that is a separate tie. Only groups of five in the middle part are electrically connected with each other. This diagram shows you which pins are connected to which. The two pairs of power rails work independently from each other. This is a pictorial diagram of the circuit we need to build. It uses symbols that look very similar to the actual devices used. The highlighted ties indicate what electrical connections are used on the solderless breadboard. Traditionally, we use a schematic diagram to represent the components and connections. The LED, for example, is the symbol with an arrow pointing to a bar, which represents the direction of conventional current flow required to turn it on from positive to negative. The resistor is the squiggly line used to represent a resistance to current. Now that we have those out of the way, let's start building the circuit. First, unplug the Arduino Uno board from your computer. This is to prevent accidental short circuits that may cause problems down the line. Get the LED. Remember that it is a polarized component, meaning you can't reverse the connections without repercussions. The positive or anode lead is usually longer compared to the negative or cathode lead.
An alternative way to identify the cathode is to look for the flattened lip on the LED's body. The pin next to the flat side is the cathode. For this circuit, we'll put the anode to E3 and the cathode to E4. Now watch as I struggle to set this up with limited vertical space due to the camera. Insert the component lead carefully into the holes and push the component gently. Do not force components into the breadboard as this might bend the component leads. Take the black male-to-male -male connecting wire and connect the negative rail of the breadboard to ground. This connects the entire rail to the circuit ground of the Arduino. There are three ground connections on the Arduino Uno board. I chose the one next to digital pin 13 because of how short the wire was. Take the 1 kilo ohm resistor and bend the leads as shown. Plug it into B4 and the ground rail. Since it is non-polarized, it does not matter what orientation you insert it. Finally, take the red male-to-male -male connecting wire and connect the anode of the LED to digital pin 13. Do a final check of the circuit. Then insert the USB plug into the Arduino Uno to power it on. The red LED should blink at the same time as the built-in LED on the Arduino Uno board.